Now that we went through a description of the front panel, we will be able to turn on the unit and see how it is actually working. To turn on the unit, press the power button for a couple of seconds and you will see the green LED here starts blinking. That means the unit is booting. After turning on the unit, this is what the main screen will look like. Let's go through each of the boxes so we get a better understanding on how that unit is working. On the left side here, you will have all the information pertaining to the PITO channel. On the right side, you will have all of the information pertaining to the static channel. On the first light blue line that you see here, is going to be all of the actual values that are being generated in the test set. On the darker blue line here, you will see all of the rates that are actually being generated on the test set. Let's go line by line. On the first line here, you will have knots and feet. The yellow boxes show you the actual unit in which the test set currently is. On the second line, you will have the current values as being read by the pressure sensors right now. As of now, about one knot and minus 214 feet. On the third line, those are going to be your target values. This is where we will input targets for PT, currently at 20 knots, and PS, currently at 608 feet. On the fourth line, you will have the units for the rates, and those units are going to be correlated with the units that we see here for the pito and static channels. On the fifth line, you will see actual rates. So these are the rates as currently computed by the sensors, and since we're in measure mode and we just started the unit, those rates are sitting at zero knots per minute and zero feet per minute. On the sixth line, you will get your target rates. This is where we will input targets for the different rates that we want to reach. You will see here the rates in knots per minute and the rates in feet per minute. So you may ask, we do not need to have the knots per minute, so why is it located here? Well, we will see later on that during the leak check, this information is actually quite interesting to have when you want to get an information about your instant leak rate. But indeed, as far as the rate is concerned, we will not need to change that very often. On the last line, finally, you will see here the two ovals will let you choose between the three modes in which a pedostatic tester can be, which is leak, measure, or control. The next step is to understand what all these little numbers mean on the side. Well, you see this uh, wired remote is not touchscreen capable. So we need to find a way to input parameters. And the way we found was with those little numbers. So you will use the numerical keypad that's located here to input for each number an action that you want to perform. Let's go through each of those numbers. Number one and number five will let you input units for PT with number one and PS for number five. Let's take a look at that. If I push number one now, I will be prompted for different units for the PITO channel. Those are the different units available for knots. Same for feet. If I push five, I will be entering the units menu for the PS channel. Those are the seven different units that are available for me on the PS channel. Whenever I want to input a new target for my airspeed or my altitude, I will push number two or number six. If I push number two, I will be prompted in this menu to enter a new airspeed in knots. Whenever the unit turns into control, the PITO channel will generate that value in knots. Same for static, if I push number six, I will be prompted to enter a value in feet, which will be the altitude at which I want to go. If I want to change my rates for PT or PS, I will use the number three or number seven. To change my rate for PT, I will push three and enter a PITO target value of my choice, usually anywhere between two and 400 knots per minute. To enter a new rate for static, currently at 5,000 feet per minute, I will push seven. 
7 will let me decide for a new rate in feet per minute that I can now enter. Finally, if I want to change my mode in PT or PS, I will use the keys 4 and 8. If I push 4 here, I will be prompted between measure, leak, or control, as previously mentioned, for PITO. If I push 8, I will be prompted measure, leak, or control for PS. These are all the different actions that I can perform to change airspeed, altitude, and rate of climb on my Model 6300 test set. And we will now check the typical use setup when you are starting the unit and about to start a check on an aircraft.